Today we're looking at bento boxes. We got these because it's spring, we're going out a lot to run errands, and my daughter has joined baseball, and so a lot of times we're out just a little bit longer than mealtime food will keep the kids going, and they, they started asking for snacks. So rather than, you know, stop at a gas station or fast food, we decided to get bento boxes so that we could take snacks along with us. And we wanted something that would allow us to carry a couple of different types of foods because we have young kids, so sometimes they're picky and what they will like one day, they won't like another. I went out looking and found these. Now, I have to say these, I found these on Amazon. These are much larger. Once I got them in person, they are much larger than I was expecting them to be. That's really, so that's always a good thing. So they're a thousand milliliter and I got a set of two. We got the dark blue, the navy, and the light blue. They had other sets that were considerably more expensive just because the colors were different. These I think were $9 cheaper than another set at the time I ordered because they are blue and blue. This also, by the way, each box includes a, a spoon and a fork, and they are freezer safe, dishwasher safe, and refrigerator safe microwave, dishwasher, and freezer. There we go. And they do, however, state in here that they recommend that you not put the lids in the dishwasher uh, to preserve the, the power of the seal better. When I first opened one of these, I actually uh, was very impressed. I had trouble getting the top off. The seal was so good. So that one, that that's the one I've already opened. You can see that was easy. I'll show you another one in a minute. But see here, you've got four different compartments here and then you've got your fork and your spoon in there. So this bottom part is dishwasher, microwave, and freezer safe. But again, that lid, if you want to maintain the quality of the seal, it's, it's a, a soft, probably silicon here. And if you want to maintain that seal, they do recommend that you not put that in the dishwasher just to maintain the life and, and quality of the seal a little bit better. We'll test that seal out in a little while, but uh, for right now, we will, we're just unboxing and looking at things. So let's open this one and I'll show you how difficult that initial seal is to break when you get it from the factory. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> So that's the initial seal. The back shows you actually the size of every compartment in here. And so it shows you that compartments one, two, three, and five. So all of the medium looking compartments are a half cup each. And compartment four, where the, the fork and spoon are currently kept, that's a third cup. So if you choose to use that for food storage rather than fork and spoon, then that's gonna be a third cup. And compartment six, the big compartment, holds one and a half cups. And so that's your one and a half cup, that's your half cup, half cup, half cup, half cup, and third cup there in the middle. And also wanted to point out that these are, it says double walled insulation and that the compartments are leak proof. So we're going to test that out a little bit later, put some liquid in there and shake it around and see how, how good the uh, leak proofing is. I was preparing our bento boxes for tonight's baseball practice and you can see this is just what I had on hand of snack type foods that I might be able to take with us that doesn't have to be refrigerated that would be able to fit in these little containers. So I've got some mixed nuts over here, some leftover Easter candy, some zucchini bread, some Funyuns which were treats from the grandparents and a juice box. Now this little juice box, it does offer just a little bit of resistance for the flap to close there, but a juice box will fit there if we want. And obviously if you're making this for a lunch rather than a snack, you'd probably want to actually put food there and send the juice box extra. But that is something to, to note. And um, as it turns out, the four of these will actually fit stacked very nicely in our picnic backpack. Now, if you have been with <laughs> Review Your Options since the beginning, you probably will have seen it as one of our earliest reviews. And if you look in here, you see it's not really all that large an insulated compartment. So we do have to turn the bento boxes sideways, but those four boxes fit absolutely perfectly in there. 
So this is how we are going to baseball practice tonight because that's how we roll. All right, and here we are again, looking at bento boxes. This one has been packed up for six days and I wanted to, to just kind of show something here that I've got, you know, the, the goodies that I packed in here all still look pretty, <laughs> all look nice. They've been carried around to baseball practice twice now I think um maybe just once and the zucchini bread in here the seal is so tight that that zucchini bread which is nice and moist has um not gone bad it is still good and I'm not going to open the seal because I don't want to let in more and and screw that up but it is still in there and still good so finally the last thing I wanted to look at is they say that they will not spill. So we put some water in here and I want to, to test the seals. And so again, the base has been washed in the dishwasher a couple of times now. And the tops, again, they recommend that you hand wash to help keep that seal. And so that's what we've done. We have washed the tops by hand, but done dishwasher for the main container. So I've put water in all of these and uh, let's see how this goes. not a drop, not a drop. So that is, um, that's amazing. You know, if I really wanted to do it, I would have, I should have probably done food coloring in each one to see if they intermixed at all. But, um, I, you know what, I think that's, that's pretty good. So if you have sauces, you might get a little bit, but I doubt sauces are going to leak through, are going to be as likely to leak through as water would. So again, all in all, I am incredibly pleased with these bento boxes. They are Kinsho brand.